Hi everyone, welcome to Heart of Philly. Today we crossed over the bridge to Voorhees, New Jersey, and we are here with chef and owner Pasquale Masters of Pasta Pomodoro. Hi Pasquale, how are Hello. you doing today? Wonderful. We're going to learn about what you offer here at your restaurant, and I know that you offer um, specific uh, um, menus for dietary needs of your uh, patrons, uh, the gluten-free diet yes. and also for vegan patrons. So can you explain a little bit about that? So the avenue we opted to take was to help those in with dietary restrictions. And a lot more people today are being diagnosed with celiac disease, which is an intolerance to a protein found in wheat, uh, rye, barley, and certain manufactured oats. So by eliminating the wheat when we saute or when we prepare sauces and soups, it's a safe environment for them to eat in. And those with other dietary restrictions as uh, diet, dairy, lactose intolerant, or vegetarians or vegans, we try to accommodate their needs also. And by being able to accommodate those with certain dietary restrictions, we're able to give them an environment that they can dine safely and enjoy with their eating and feel good afterwards. <laughs> yes. So what, will, what do you have today to show us? What are you right, preparing? Today what we're going to do is we're going to make a pan-seared salmon and it's going to be served with a spiced orange champagne sauce and it's going to be served over a baby green salad with a little crazy fennel, uh, orange, olive oil, and pine nut dressing. Oh, that sounds good. Okay, let's see. Now this is something that you feel people can do at home. People can make this at home. Very simple to do. We'll start with a little olive oil. Sear the salmon. How long does it take to sear the salmon? It'll take about uh, two and a half minutes each side. Okay. Not much. So it took about a half. I'm just going to mince it. Got a medium high heat. And I noticed that the salmon is a nice thickness too. It's not too thick. Not too thick. Right. What I tend to do is I like to cut the salmon on a bias. A lot of people tend to want to cut the play salmon straight down, but if you cut it on a bias, it'll cook a little bit more quickly and a little bit more evenly. When the salmon is uh, the play, mm -hmm. you cut it with a higher end, it takes longer for it to cook. Okay. I never would have thought to put garlic and olive oil with salmon, but I know when I've made salmon myself at home, I, I never know what to add to it to give with the flavor with the salmon itself. Well, what I tend to do is do a lot of fusion or a lot of uh, different flavors to mingle in with, and you mm -hmm. tend not to want to put one one item to overpower the other. You want to okay. be able to taste a little bit of everything. And salmon is a very nice fish. Same with Chilean sea bass. It's a light fish. 
if you buy from a, uh, a seafood provider, that you know the seafood is very fresh. The fish should not be overbearing and small or in slimy. Uh, mm -hmm. It should be nice, clean, dry, and nice in color. So with salmon, now it depends really where the salmon is from, uh, how red it is compared to being really light. Um, is that what you're looking for when you go purchase salmon too? I mean, it depends, I guess, what kind of salmon and where. What type of salmon, because yeah. if you're getting a, a Pacific salmon, it's going to be a little bit more on the um, a redder side, mm -hmm. but it's not like a dyed type of red because they do alter some of the uh, packaging to make it more eye appealing. Atlantic salmon is a little bit more on the pinker side. And some people like to salt and pepper their, their fish before they go sear it or they'll dredge in a little bit of flour. It's really not necessary. Your pan's clean, and you know that it's a little bit of olive oil. Mm -hmm. This is cold, dry, and it won't stick. You want to continue to cook for a little bit more. You can always pierce it a little bit and see. Right. So this is. It will continue to cook it as it sits to cool. This is what's going to give you the spice. Mmm, it smells good. And that's a dry chili. so easy over there. <laughs> it's very simple. Will this cook? Just a few minutes? Just a few minutes. We're just going to reduce it down. We'll get this on a low heat. And what we're going to do is take a little zest. And this is a micro cleaner. So it just takes the very first layer off. Salmon. And it will acquire the flavors of the sauce. Mm -hmm. Let it sit and we will prepare the salad now. Salad's just going to be a little spray mix. And we're going to take a little fat. Usually the fennel has more mm -hmm. branches on it. Right. You can take that off. Okay. I love the flavor of fennel. I just wasn't sure how to prepare it and what dishes it would go with. Better. 
Fennel is an interesting item. It's in the celery family. Oh, I didn't know that. So you can treat it just like celery. It has a sweet licorice uh, flavor to it. Let's take a little olive oil. Just a hint more uh, orange. Now, with everyone with the new year trying to get healthier, eating lighter, this, eating lighter and healthier, this is a great a dish. Yes, really healthy dish. I need to learn the tricks because if when I have guests, <laughs> they'll never know how I learned, right? Now, nope. the, now they will. <laughs> oh, this is I be a know what you're, where you're going. Which is a cylinder mold. Okay. This is for the presentation. Yes. Okay. So, and by keeping the dressing very light, what happens is, is it's you'll incorporate this sauce with the lightness of the greens. So we're going to take this, flip it onto the plate, press down, and voila, you got your mold. Ah, I was always wondering how that happened. Yeah. <laughs> you make it look so good. It's all over it. A little bit around. Oh, that's beautiful. Really so nice. So it's a light, warm dressing for the uh, for salad. And then if you want to do a little garnish, take a little basil and put it right on the top. And we're done. That is so pretty. Really smells nice. Good. Yeah, it smells very good. So you have a little bit of spice, mm -hmm. a little bit of sweetness, a little tartness to it. And all of these flavors kind of merge together yes. for the palate. <laughs> and then you texture-wise, you have a little crunch from the pine nuts. And then you got the uh, greens and the salmon. And what what um, and what kind of wine would you suggest with a dish like this? Either a red or a white will go. Okay. Oh, I don't want to mess it up. It looks so pretty. It's meant to be messed up. Okay. Dig in, right? Dig yes. in. It up. Mmm. Very, very good. Oh, I want to dig in some more here. This is really delicious. Mmm. So you'll have to come back and visit Chef Pasquale Masters here at Pasta Pomodoro and enjoy this wonderful food he has on his menu. And as he was saying, he offers so much for the, the clients here in the dietary, um, restrictions. dietary restrictions, which I think that's very important because there are a lot of people that are dealing with specific dietary needs. Correct. And so you cater to all of that, so that's wonderful. So anyway, thank you so much, Chef Pasquale. Thank you. Thank you. And I know I'm coming back, and I, we'll, we will have the ingredients up so you can make this at home yourself for your family and your friends, and you can enjoy it the way I'm going to. <laughs> bon okay. appetit, though.
I love you, heart of Philly.